Hey, I'm Nathan from Harrison Consoles, and I'm going to start a mini series in this beginner series all about editing. And in this first video, we're going to do multi track drums. And it's very common to record drums and then wanting to make sure that everything stays in phase as you edit and you're not moving one track and not the others and vice versa. So what we do first is make sure we make a group for our drum tracks, which you can see I did here. But that's just for example, let me remove this group. And then to quickly make a group, we're going to start on the top in the black area and then left click and then slide down with our mouse, then release. It's going to come up with a dialog box. We're going to name it drums and I'm going to give it a blue color because that's usually the color I like to have my drums. So now we have that ready to go and we're just going to be listening to the drums in the bass because I am using some material from a user that we did some testing on his session with and he allowed me to use his material for a video. So what I noticed in his session was everything sounded pretty good until it started getting to the bridge area here between the bridge and chorus three and it just started sounding really off. So it's like, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and edit these and then send it back to him and see how he likes it. And he liked it. So I'm gonna do the same thing for you here in this video. And to get underway, we're just gonna zoom in on the drums and the bass, make it nice and big. And let's go back to slightly and let's just listen to what we have. You can hear how off it is. Yeah, so it's, it's pretty bad. So what we're gonna do here is look for a transient that we know is on the beat. And then we're gonna go to the next one and we're gonna split it. So this one's slightly ahead and this one's on. So we're gonna go ahead and split right here. So there's really a few different ways we can go about this. The first way is we're going to actually select the region and then making sure our edit point is set to mouse right here. I'm just gonna move my mouse cursor where I wanna make the split and then hit S. And you can see that I made a split right there. Now I'm gonna go through here and I'm gonna find another spot to where it is on the beat. And we can see that right here it's on the beat. Okay, so I'm gonna make a split here. And now this whole section in the middle is either off in one way or another. So we see that this is slightly ahead and it's consistently ahead all the way across. So I'm gonna use my command shift shortcut and then left click and I'm able to slip at it this region here. Okay, so now this looks pretty good just coming through visually looking at the downbeats. We can see this one is slightly ahead. So I'll go ahead and split there and that one's ahead and that one's slightly ahead but this one is now a little bit behind so let's go ahead and split this section here and let's slip at it back a little bit and then we can slip at it this one ahead all right so with this section right here let's just go ahead and listen Okay, pretty good, right? Now let's go ahead and show you the second way I can do this. And we're gonna set our edit point to playhead. So we can see this beat is on, and then we start getting ahead again. So I'm actually gonna put my playhead right here where I wanna make the split. And when we move that, it automatically selects the track header, which is what you want. And now we can just make the split. Okay, you can see that it splits it there. And let's go ahead and look for an area where it kind of gets back on the beat, which is right here. So move our playhead and then split. And then now I can slide this over to the right a little bit. And let's go ahead and take a listen.
Okay, so all this, according to the base, all of this is a little ahead. I think this beat is on, but let's say this beat right here is off. So we're gonna select that, and then this is the chorus right here. So let's just go to this area, and we'll be done. So we're gonna slip and slide this forward a little bit, and scroll back. Let's listen again. I can't really remember what we're doing here. Okay, so this is a little ahead right here. So let's split that and we'll move all this like so. So let's listen now. Pretty cool, huh? So that is how you do multi-track editing with your mouse or your playhead. And in future videos, we're going to go deeper into other case studies of how and why you would want to use certain techniques. But this has just been a very simple video and I hope you enjoyed it. So if you like the topic of editing, then go ahead and subscribe down below and click the bell so you'll be notified when I release future videos in this series. And go ahead and leave a comment down below and let me know how you prefer to edit multi-track drums. So once again, I'm Nathan from Harrison Consoles and I will see you in the next video.